six years ago, I moved my family from the US to New Zealand. My husband had arrived a month before us, so I had to bring four kids, ages one through 10 or 11, I think at the time, uh, on the airplanes by myself from Chicago to New Zealand. My first leg from Chicago to LAX was on Delta, and it was nothing short of a horrible experience. I then arrived at LAX, asked for some help because I'm trying to carry all this luggage and all of these children and strollers and whatnot, and they sent me to literally the other side of the airport and were saying, we're going to have to take all your bags. You're going to have to go through security. I'm like, I really don't think I need to do this. This doesn't make any sense. And like literally to the point where my daughter starts crying, I start crying. I'm going to miss my flight. I need to get there. I am so stressed out. I arrive at the Air New Zealand, you know, gate, okay, in LAX. And let me tell you, this is my first experience, my first experience with New Zealand. I get there, it's like they could see me coming. <laughs> the lady at the counter is like, ma'am, can I help you? What is it? Because I must have looked like, mm. it was stressful. You are literally leaving everything that you know to go somewhere where I have never been, I know nothing about, and taking my four children with me. And you know, your family is quite against the whole idea. So, you know, you haven't been a lot of, there hasn't been a lot of cheering for you at this point, okay? And so I get with Air New Zealand, and it was unbelievable, my experience. The first thing that the gate agent says, it's like, do you have a seat for your baby so that we could put him in like a bassinet on the plane? I'm like, oh, I don't know. And so she checks, she moves my seat so that I have this spot and they set up this bassinet. They put me first on the plane. I'm telling you, I felt like I was in heaven. Who are these people? Why are they so nice? It's like not nice like you're asking for help. It's they see that you need help and they're helping you. And they served me and it was a, not a good flight. It was, let's just say, in a, what was it? I don't know, 16 hour flight. I didn't watch one TV show or movie, okay? Because that's how busy I was with the children who weren't sleeping and who decided to wake up and start screaming and waking up the plane. It was great. Air New Zealand was amazing. Their staff, everything about it. It was like, it's like your first introduction to New Zealand and it could not be better. After that experience, I have a real hard time booking anybody else <laughs> um, for my air. And I just like, even when I go home, when I've gone home since then, it's just been such an amazing experience on such a long and, you know, flight, but it just doesn't feel long. Like the way that they run everything is so good. Thank you, Air New Zealand. Okay, US versus New Zealand, food edition. In New Zealand, they call it a chicken burger, but in the US, it's called a chicken sandwich. Now, I understand why New Zealand calls it a chicken burger because it's on a burger bun, but anything that's not beef related is not a burger. A burger is only a beef burger in the US, so we call them chicken sandwiches, and anything else would be called a sandwich. Also, in New Zealand, if you see any American snack foods that you didn't get at an American store here in New Zealand, they are actually made in Australia and do not taste the same as you would get in the US. Also, in New Zealand, if you order pancakes, you can get nice fluffy pancakes, a small pancake, or a crepe. But in the US, it's only a big fluffy pancake and you generally get a lot of them when you order it. And if you haven't already, check out my new American recipe book. Link is in my bio. It's adapted for all New Zealand ingredients. Follow me for more on U.S. versus New Zealand. What is different about Christmas in New Zealand compared to the U.S.? Let's chat. Okay, we are sitting outside. This is one of the things that are very different. It's summertime during Christmas in New Zealand. It's fantastic, but sometimes you do miss the snow and the lights and the cuddling up to a fire. But anyway, first thing that's different, Christmas crackers, okay? Pop, things jump out, you get a crazy crown that nobody's ever gonna use, sometimes a special treat. Never used that, never knew what it was for like three years living here, so Christmas crackers. I have never seen that in the US. I'm sure there is somewhere, but I had never seen it. Uh, Christmas mince pies, okay? Didn't try that for years, assumed the mince was meat, it's actually talking about the mint, how they how they chop up the fruit and nuts. It's minced. Delicious if it's homemade. Don't buy it in the store. They also eat fruit cakes here. Like totally normal to eat a fruit cake. No, no, no. That's like a joke. So if you go to the U.S. and you bring someone a a fruit cake, it's meant to be a joke, like a gag gift. 
like a, a gift that's not very nice. <laughs> so know that nobody eats fruitcakes. Mm. And the worst thing for me, honestly, is that there's no eggnog at the supermarket. I have to make my own eggnog every year in New Zealand. You can't just buy it at Christmas. Like, why do we not sell eggnog here at Christmas? I'm sure there's a reason. I don't like it. <sighs> we have to buy our own eggnog. So those are some of the differences between Christmas in New Zealand compared to the U.S. American Health Insurance, how can I help you? Hi, I have a question about a bill I've received. I have a $10,000 bill and saying that my insurance is not going to pay it for a recent car accident. Ah, uh, yes, I see that here. Yes, you got the bill because you did not meet your deductible this year, so you have to pay the bill. Okay, how much is the deductible? Looks like your deductible is $5,000. Okay, I'm confused. I pay $500 a month for health insurance, but it doesn't cover anything because I still have to pay the deductible first. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. The deductible is different than your premium. They are two separate things. Okay, so does doctor visits, are they covered in my deductible? Uh, no, they are not. Prescriptions? Uh, no, they are not either. My therapy? No, they're not covered in your deductible. How about the ambulance that cost me $250 just to get to the hospital for my accident? No, I'm sorry, ma'am, that is also not included. Okay, so what you're saying is if I pay $5,000, so half of my bill, you will then pay the rest of it. No, I'm sorry, ma'am, uh, the copay comes into play once you've met your deductible. So once you meet your deductible, then you looks like yours is an 80-20. So we will, you'll pay 20% of the rest of the bill, and we will pay 80. Okay. So if I pay $5,000 plus 20% of what's left, so another $1,000, then you'll pay $4,000 of this bill. Uh, actually, no, because it looks like you went to a hospital that was out of network. What? Yes, I'm sorry, ma'am, but this hospital is out of our network, and so we won't pay any of the bill. Two questions. How am I supposed to direct an ambulance to go to the right hospital? And number two, how am I supposed to know which hospitals are in network? Yes, you need to let the ambulance driver know before, you know, he heads towards the hospital. And then if you go on our website on like a really small bottom, there's like a little teeny button that shows you our in-network facilities. Okay, this is ridiculous. I was unconscious in the accident. I could, okay. Is there any amount of this bill that my insurance that I pay $500 a month for will pay for? Yes, once your yearly total out of pocket is met, then we will pay the rest of the bill. Okay, how much is that? Okay, it looks like yours is $10,000. Okay, so if I pay this entire bill, then my deductible is set, and then you will pay 80, we'll do 80, 20 for anything else that happens this year. No, ma'am, we will not pay because you went to a hospital that's out of our network. Okay, cancel my insurance. Cancel it all together. I'm sorry, ma'am, I cannot cancel your insurance until you've had it for exactly 12 months. You have got to be kidding me. Then after you cancel the insurance, if you don't want to get any more insurance, then you will be fined by the U.S. government. Okay, I love going out for breakfast. Let me see, what do I want? Eggs Benedict, ooh, that's expensive. Okay, how about just some eggs on toast? And I will get a flat white. Great, thank you. All right, I'm at IHOP, the International House of Pancakes. Can I get eggs scrambled? Can I get some toast? Can I get some pancakes? Can I get some uh, bacon? Oh, I get two kinds of meat, bacon and sausage. Oh, and I get French toast, awesome. And can I get that on whole wheat and a cup of coffee? Awesome, thanks.